Ooh, hey, let's see here. All right, we're gonna go across to the park here. Alright guys, sorry, I'm just uh, testing out speed modes. I'm still getting used to this uh, scooter here. Pretty bad bike, uh, scooter, not bike. Alright, so. Download this pedometer app, I'm gonna see how it works. Because I really cannot see. Oh, that's right, because it's the right film. Maybe that's why. <laughs> We'll see. We'll see how accurate both of them are together. All right, Yogi. So this is first time on a gravel road. I've taken my other scooter, my OK, down here, but uh, this Meta Moves Meta Moves Z01 Pro is pretty good. Or it's the same thing as a Zondu. Have y'all seen them? It's the same company. I think they just uh, put different names on them. It's a branding thing. Yeah. Well, we may go down to the boat ramp. That's the old runway. Yeah, I think I'm gonna put some jams on here, guys. I'm gonna stop right here and put on some music. Ooh. Nah, I better not, because copyright deals. All right, back to business. Yeah, be careful, this thing does have some giddy up.
Let's see, we're gonna cruise over to the other harbor. We're gonna go to the Cumberland Harbor. That was just Hampton's Landing. You're not really a harbor. Just a boat ramp, apparently. Just a little fishing spot. Get me some mirrors, or at least one for the left side. Sunday cruise. So we hit, we're probably doing about 30, we're doing 35. Um, now the specs call that this scooter can go up to 42 miles an hour and I just had it full throttle and I hit 35. 
So I don't well, believe it's not quite there yet, but I've been looking at the P setting. The P setting is on the meta mover, probably about the same. It all depends on the throttle switch. Diagrams are different, buttons are different. Uh, you know, so it just, each group is different. Of course, we all know that. So we are making our way to the harbor, on Brown it is. Here is the harbor. And we'll go around, of course, the other side. I'm sure you've all seen my uh, one of my other videos. I have been over here quite a few times on my other scooter. I really like cruising over here. Uh, with my uh, my other one, I had to use the bike path because it only went 20, but I'm uh, glad I got this one. about this is like I can actually ride around my town with the cars this small town it's 30 miles an hour mainly everywhere uh, so uh, I like how I can do that and then I still have my okay for like when we travel in cities because it's really good for the city it's good around here too I like it I'd ride them both get some fish for fish Sorry about the wind. I need to. Uh, I have a DJI with lapel wireless that's for my Pocket 3. I need to see if it will work for uh, my Action 3 right here. I'm not sure. I'll have to look into it. back to the house for NASCAR. I don't know how many people out there are NASCAR fans, but me and my wife are huge race fans. Uh, we're coming up to the boat ramp here at Conbrown. So I know most of y'all that watch this are from here or local, uh, but this is, uh, I don't know, it's what I do now. I used to do photography a lot, but I really enjoy getting out and riding, doing videos. I think 
Lincoln may have to put a steering damper on this. Uh, it's not, I mean, the steering is actually really good, but I kind of get a little wobble when I let go of the throttle a little bit. And when I uh, kind of push on it, I don't know. If anybody out there is more experienced with these than I am, I'd really appreciate your input. Oh no, is that rain up there? I may be winking my way back. Oh. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. It's like S curve here. More like a dang lightning bolt. I come up here on my uh, OK other scooter, the one that goes 20, up on this curve. Just this one, and I almost ate it. Like I said, I've only been riding for about, let's see, four months. Yeah, four months. Been riding for only four months, and then started with 20 mile, and I got this one. Oh, man, I love both. Like I said, I got best, the best of both worlds. I got a nice little cruiser for the city and all that. And I got this one for around town, off-roading. I probably will never go off-roading. I know that for a fact. But just to be able to keep up with local traffic and taking the with the suspension on those rough roads that you have in a small town. And the roundabout. I do need to adjust my brakes just a little bit more. Because they are well, like touchy. I know yesterday, I don't know if you saw the video, they're touchy, but I adjust them a little bit. They're not as bad. I don't get that sudden jerk. But yeah, I, uh, I'm going to cut this crew short. I'm going to make my way back towards the, well, the direction back to my house. Because back behind me, it looks like maybe in some rain. But we're going to go all the way down to the end here. Oh, we're doing... Uh, Sitting at a steady 32. Turn here. Go on here. Oh yeah, this works. I'm sure y'all see me come down this way too. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend I drive with one hand like I just did. <laughs> I had to push my glasses up. It just keeps slowly right down. Trying to take a look at my uh, voltage and my battery. Oh, we're good. Still sitting at like 90%, 85% looks like. I may want to go straight, I don't know yet.
bumpy. That's what I was talking about on some of these roads, man. That's why I needed one like this. Cruise around. Debating if I want to make a run to Walmart. There, buddy, slow down. Oh, and everybody knows I can go fast. My foot's falling asleep. My foot's falling asleep. Yeah, this road is a little bad. It's pretty rough. Uh, definitely not for a scooter without suspension. Just saying. Yeah, I thought I saw a car coming up behind me. I guess not. That's why I need to get a mirror. Shoot, I may run to Walmart and grab a mirror. I don't know. Yeah, that is the old hospital. Hasn't been open since Hurricane Harvey hit here in 2017. Like I said, most of y'all watch this from here. It's boring, blah, blah. But for those that aren't from here, it's cool. There's just stuff about my local, small hotel. Local. And I am local, fool. Sorry, I talk to myself and I don't make sense. much changes in small town but I tell you what the fish in here is excellent all right so I'm cruising at 33 34 and I still haven't caught this car in front of me so yeah needless to say people don't do speed limits anymore I 
actually may turn around. I don't know if I want to go over there. I'm looking at my battery. And it just went down to half. It's probably because I'm hauling butt, but I'm going faster than I probably should. But I'll go down to Walmart and leave turn around. Turn around a little bit. I just want to see what's going on. It looks like Walmart's about to renovate, remodel. I don't know if I'm the crazy driver or everybody else is. Stop and fix my glasses again. I gotta figure out why my glasses will not stay.
All right, guys, got some music on. I don't know if YouTube's gonna kick this off or not, but I don't care. Kinda of looks like overcast. Yeah, turn that off. That's too much. I ain't gonna handle that. Depending on which way this guy goes, let's see if we can keep up with him. No, he's not going the way I want to go. Dang it. Small town, there's sure always a lot of traffic. But what else are you gonna do in a small town? Drive around and listen to music. All right, everybody, we're gonna head back to my house. I'm gonna go around a few different routes. Uh, yeah, we'll see. Hey, that was a little bump, man. That felt nice, though. Yeah, I wasn't going to hit that one doing 30. <laughs> no, sir. That's fire. I'm sorry, God. Man, I missed that one. I'll get it now, though. All right, we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna get home. I knew I saw a car. I was like, uh, did I just see headlights? Like, where did they go? Well, these apartments right here used to live here. They used to live here. Let's see. I think I need to adjust my helmet just a little bit because I think that's what's pushing my sunglasses down is the helmet is not tight enough. So I may be adjusting that as well as long as with a few more other things on the scooter.
got NASCAR race just is already starting going, but you know, it always starts out slow. Got the baby at the house, Mama's taking a nap, so kind of like I like to be there really, you know. I don't know who that was in the golf cart back there, but I honked at him. I know on my okay, my other scooter, I wasn't able to catch a golf cart. I wasn't able to catch one. I'm gonna try two now though. Oh, I should be able to catch that guy. We'll see. Oh, it's a father and a son, that's cool. It's the helmet. I know it's the helmet.
It's about the same in vibration wise. In one of my other videos, I don't know if you guys are sure if you're watching, you know, I said I'll be running two cams, cameras, and I will be. Just right now I'm testing out all the adjustments and angles. Y'all hear that? I gotta adjust my brakes. It looks like tomorrow will be maintenance Monday. And I'm thinking about doing an episode called The Deck. Uh, I don't have a shop. I have an outdoor deck. Uh, and it's pretty nice. I thought about doing some clips out there, maintenance, because I'm just not learning. And maybe people give me pointers as well. Because I really do not know. Yeah, we'll go this way just real quick. I probably should be getting home. Alright, I'll do one more trip around this block right here. Don't think I've gotten any video for being over here before. Now this road is a little tougher than the rest, so I am not going to be opening it up <laughs> on this one. So I'm sticking around 23, 24. Ooh, look at that old GMC square body. Oh wait, Chevy too. Sometimes I've been riding around here and I never even saw that thing. Now I've been back here once on my other scooter, and uh, it's yeah, well, it's it's a little rough too. I don't know if we'll see any deer. Nice houses out here. That's why I like living where I, we live. It's kind of like you're in the city and you're far enough out of the town to where it's quiet. Nobody bothers you. I did 30 there, but that was only because I had a patch of smooth, like right here. I was like, well, there's no pot, pothole patchwork, so, well, that's a nice house. I'm just blunt blessed, man. We have a beautiful home. My wife worked her butt off for it. I've worked, well, we sacrificed for it, so I basically put them. Oh, this is different, huh? Oh, I was so tempted to go back that way. I'm sure y'all saw that gravel road. Oh, that's cool. I never knew that was there. 
I said, last time I came through, I didn't have my camera. I was on the scooter. And I was more worried of uh, wiping out on it. Even though it only was 20, but man, with no suspension on it, and it being a smaller scooter than this one, and a m much smaller deck space, I was worried. I was like, oh man, I'm just going to watch every little pot little. Like that one right there would have wiped me out. Definitely would have wiped me out. Hold up, guys. Let me pull in here and get a picture of my scooter real quick. Send to the group. I gotta get my phone out.